Hi there guys, welcome to another episode. I know a lot of people, especially people like me that live outside of the UK, are having problems getting hold of the bolts for the windage tray. I'm gonna show you how I've sorted it. Well, I've talked about this windage tray before. In fact, I've talked quite a lot about it. Um, and normally you'd buy bolts here that have a stud sticking out the top of them. They are pretty impossible for me to get hold of here in Sweden. So the plan for me is to do that. I'm gonna weld that bolt to the head of that bolt so it sticks down. There should be enough thread there to allow the windage tray to come up without touching the bottom of the cranks here. So that's the plan. With that bolt already removed, I'm gonna weld that one first, put it up, tighten it down, then I'll do that one, that one, that one, and then I'll do that one as well. And then I can put the windage tray into place and I can start to fit the sump back in again. So let's crack on. So the first thing I do before I weld anything is it's got the writing on top of the head of the bolt there telling me it's a 12-9 bolt, which is the strength of the bolt. Um, but that's, as you can see, possibly, it's sticking up slightly off the head, which means when I come to put it on the head of the original bolt, it's not going to sit properly. So, we have to do some grinding. Right, so they're all ground off now, nice and smooth, which means that when I put them together with those bolts now, that's a nice flush fit on the top of that bolt there and I can weld it. Right, so that's the first one. As you'll see, there's a little bit of weld gone over the edges, so I'll just be able to grind that down with a grinder now to make sure that the socket fits over the top of that. And that one, I can then tighten back up into place and that's the first one done. Right, so now I've ground the bolts off a bit so they'll fit. Uh, the problem I have is that now, they will fit in an ordinary deep impact socket. The problem is then that they stick out too much there and you can't get the, the uh, socket onto the end of them. So I've solved that by using this socket instead, which is actually for spark plugs for a BMW. Um, and the really long ones, uh, really long sockets. So these fit really, really well and I can still get the torque wrench on the back of them. So that's what we're gonna use. So I'm gonna tighten these down according to the specifications, which is 40 Newton meters and then 80 Newton meters. And then we'll move on to the next bolt. All we're gonna do now is just tighten this last bolt up into place now. So we're doing 30 Newtons to start with. And then we'll turn it up to 80. That's it, four windage tray bolts done. So the last thing that now needs to do is to put some nuts on these bolts. These are obviously the ones that stop the tray from going too high up. So then out four knots there just to stop the tray from going too high up. So all we need to do now is put the windage tray in its place. Which is there. So all I need to do now is adjust the nuts at the top here just to make sure, and I can feel with my hand like there, there's quite a lot of room in there. So I could raise these bolts, these nuts quite a lot actually. I think I'm gonna go all the way up as far as the threads will go. I 
and I can get my hand quite happily under each one of those. So I know that when I tighten those nuts up now, that's not going to touch the crank and I'm done. Right, so that's the winning straight in place and as I say I can get my hands underneath here so I'm not worried about the crank touching the plate it's in place the new bolts that I'm using these ones here are m8 by 60 millimeters long I've put an ordinary m8 nut on the top and then a locking nut underneath uh, you could probably use an ordinary nut and some locking fluid or something like that I'm used to using this because I don't think they're going to come loose they're only going to get hot oil on them so they're not going to expand too much they're not going to undo themselves so i've tightened them up against the nuts on above so i don't think they're going to go anywhere um so yeah that's that all i need to know is put the sump in Right, now that the windage tray is in place, I've found the next problem, and the next problem is that I can't get the uh, sump in place with the bracket in place. So I've got an engine crane now holding up the gearbox, and I can get the, the sump in. What I've then found the problem is, is that these bolts here are slightly too long. So I'm using M8 by 60 bolts there, and these ones could probably be M840, which means that those ones would also be m8 by 40 millimeters long so they are slightly too long uh, but once those bolts were cut down i can then get the sump in place <laughs> so there we can see now the sump in its place as it is it fits perfectly I've tightened these bolts up now as you can see there is no gasket there at the moment and it tightens up anyway um, I've got no gasket which means it still fits so I'm quite happy with that on the back it's the same so once there's a gasket in there it'll be perfect and then there's plenty of room there for the cradle to go in so I'm gonna now remove that sump I obviously need to paint it because it can't go back in that condition, can it? Uh, and then I can start building the rest of the car. Right, so if you found that interesting, you want to see some more of me getting this car on the road, uh, press that subscribe button, press the bell so you don't miss anything. Uh, next episode, I'm going to start putting the exhaust together now that I can get the sump in its place. So, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks a lot, and bye-bye.